So when it comes to fashion, fit is king. But after fit, what's next? It has to be colors. If you want to look your best, your clothes have to fit you well and you have to wear the right colors that are going to complement your skin tone. So of course, today we're going to be talking about how to utilize colors to the best of your ability to make your outfit stand out in a good light. That sounds interesting. Let's get into the video. So if you want to understand more about colors, then you have to talk about the color wheel. Yay, here we go. Ben and I was going to give you a big explanation about colors. No, I'm going to make it as basic and simple as possible. Even a toddler could understand this. So you're going to picture your color wheel. Actually, let's put it up onto the screen. Look at all them fantastic colors. Firstly, you need to remember your primary colors. So this is going to be your red, yellow, blue. No other color can make primary colors. Next now it's going to be your secondary colors. This is going to be your purple, green and your orange. You get your secondary colors by mixing some of the primary colors. Next now we're going to talk about how warm and how cool a color is. So they say that reds and yellows are considered warm colors and then your blues are considered to be cool colors. This will come in handy when it comes to looking for colors that are going to complement your skin tone. Trust me, it does actually come in handy. Next, now we're gonna talk about the tint and of course the shade of a color. So a color is called a U, that's its true color. When you add white to it, it's gonna tint it and make it lighter. When you add black to a color, it's gonna create a shade, thus making it darker. So you've probably heard of these fashion terms, high contrast outfits, low contrast outfits, monochromatic outfits, achromatic outfits. What are all these? Okay, firstly, let's talk about monochromatic outfits. These are actually my favorite. So we need to go back to that color wheel. Yes, I'm sending this back to school. So on that color wheel, we're gonna talk about analogous colors. Yes, I finally said that right, man. Took me a while. So analogous colors are colors that have the same color in them, but just in different temperatures. So this is gonna be blue, you're gonna have your light blue, and then of course you're gonna have your dark blue, which is more like navy. So this is gonna help you achieve monochromatic outfits. Monochromatic outfits look so well because these colors are right beside each other on the color wheel. It's pretty straightforward, guys. So these are gonna look great on the eye, and they're gonna look great on majority of people. But of course, make sure that that color is complementing your skin tone. We'll talk about that in the video later. So hence why I'm always telling guys, whenever they're starting off on their fashion journey, wear a lot of monochromatic outfits because guess what they're gonna make you look good and of course they look great on the eye now let's talk about achromatic outfits so you may be saying to yourself brandon on that color wheel there's no white black or gray what's going on here yes these colors live in their own separate universe they live on the gray scale now when you mix black and white together you're gonna get gray different shades of gray hence the gray scale now this is what's gonna help you achieve that achromatic look. So this is basically, guys, your all gray outfits, your all black outfits, or your all white outfits, you can go on that road. And then of course, you might wear black with gray, you might wear white with gray, you're gonna wear black and white, pretty straightforward. Like guys, this is like basic things, like achromatic outfits are the easiest in fashion. They're pretty boring in terms of like, character but they're just there if you're looking for something you can just put on today but they're actually quite good if you're looking to make your accessories stand out a little bit but i'll talk about accessories later down in this video because accessories like you know, have to complement your outfits and they have to also complement your skin tone but achromatic outfits gents are quite easy and they actually say that black is the most overrated color in fashion actually let's talk about that next so now here we go or oh, brendan said that black is overrated now gents don't get me wrong black is great but i just think we rely on it overly too much black suits you see them everywhere people wear black t-shirts black shorts black now is abundant you're gonna see black everywhere trust me the only thing is gents with black when you wash it it's gonna fade easily compared to other colors next you're gonna see deodorant stains and black does actually get dirty a little bit easy you can just see dirt max on black easier compared to other colors i don't know why for some reason next whenever now you're wearing black guys it's gonna absorb a lot of heat which is gonna make you boil up quicker and then of course black just symbolizes that you're just mysterious and you haven't really put any effort you're there but you're not really there trust me i've i've, I've seen that before so if you really want to get out of black i would say go for charcoal they say charcoal is actually the better black so black cannot really be paired up with navy and with brown you can guys but it's very very difficult but if you wear brown with charcoal if you wear navy with charcoal it's gonna look a lot more better so why not try charcoal instead of black and tell me what you think 
Now, going back to the whole color theory things, let's talk about the colors that are gonna complement your skin tone. So when it comes to finding your skin tone, it's actually not that hard, but explaining it can be a little bit difficult. Hence why Brendan Takarinda is gonna break it down for you guys and simplify it. If you wanna discover your own skin tone, get a white sheet of paper, go towards your mirror, put that sheet of paper towards your face, make sure that there's natural sunlight coming in. If your skin tone is close enough to that white sheet of paper, then you have a cool skin tone. If it's further away like myself, that means you have a warmer skin tone. Pretty straightforward, that's all you need to do. Now, remember what I told you, warmer colors, such as your reds and your yellows are gonna complement a warmer skin tone. And then your cooler colors, such as your blues and your purples are gonna complement a cooler skin tone. But of course, guys, you can experiment. Look at me right now, I'm experimenting. As you get better at this game, you can start experimenting. So for example, right now, I'm wearing a light blue shirt, navy slacks, but I have a silver ring. Now, you might be saying to yourself, okay, but I heard that silver accessories are meant for cooler skin tones. But this is why guys you need to experiment and know what works for you so i do like to wear silver accessories on the old occasion but most of the time you see me wearing gold accessories because gold accessories are going to complement your warmer skin tone because gold is is like yellow in it so this is going to complement my warmer skin tone and then silver is a little bit more on the cooler side so it's going to complement a cooler skin tone man i'm talking too much here but hopefully this makes sense the reason why I'm wearing silver right now is because I'm wearing a light blue shirt. So silver is gonna complement that light blue because both of them are cooler. So you start getting better at this, like I said before guys, and you find out what works for yourself. So this is what's gonna help you discover your skin tone. Now let's talk about high contrast outfits and low contrast outfits. So with high contrast outfits and low contrast outfits, we need to go back to the color wheel. Now, majority of us are gonna be wearing low contrast outfits. So basically this is like your salmon with your light gray. These colors look well together, especially in the summer season, and they're quite easy to pull off. But the high contrast outfits, these can be very, very difficult. Some people say like, you know, crisp white, really, really dark black. But the best way to do this is go back to that color wheel. Complementary colors are gonna create the most contrast. Hopefully that makes sense. So this is your red with your green. Now, I don't want you to look like a Christmas tree if you're wearing a red top and then green bottoms. But if you wanna achieve good contrast, you need to use accessories like a pocket square. So I've seen a few guys wearing the dark green suits These are actually in style at the moment. And then you might have a pop of red with your red pocket square. This is subtle, but it's just creating a nice contrast. Or if you want to achieve a good contrast combination is using different shades of the complementary colors or different hues. So you might have dark red with really, really light green. This will help you also achieve contrast. But remember, if you're using the same concentration, the same use of that color, it's not going to look great. So this is what's going to help you achieve a high contrast outfit. And like I said before, low contrast outfits, we already wear them. So I don't really need to explain them. So now lastly, let's talk about statement pieces. And I know some of you gents like to rock statement pieces. So how can you rock a statement piece? Now, going back to the grayscale, you're obviously going to have your blacks and whites. So usually what I say to guys is, if you want to rock a statement piece, make sure that your base is neutral. So you might have a white base if you want to go for all white or you might have a gray base even a black base is going to do the job then if your statement piece is in red make sure that the rest of your base is neutral so this will make the statement piece stand out it's the same thing with prints if you want to wear nice prints make sure that the rest of your outfit is neutral because i don't want you to look like a clown too many colors are going to make you look like a clown That's basically it guys for statement pieces. Make sure that your base is neutral and then the color that you want to stand out will stand out because the base is neutral. So use the grayscale for this, it will help you achieve this. So gents, that's basically it for the video about colors. And as well guys, colors do say a lot about you. I've heard that blue makes you look more confident, it's trustworthy, red means passion and desire, uh, green is symbolized with nature, white means peace, black mysterious. Gents, I had to learn all these, you know, because I'm, I have a passion for fashion, so this is 
this is my day job now so gents just remember that colors are gonna say something about you so if you really like this video guys please leave a like it, like i had to do a bit of research for this video yeah some of the things i already knew but just putting it all together it really takes a lot of hard work so leave a like subscribe to elevation stars thank you very much for the support this is how you wear a suit the right way summer outfit of the day of course the weather wasn't the best best dressed politicians around the world emmanuel macron go follow me on my instagram and tiktok guys i'll say by the time this video comes out i'll probably be back from london so go check out the london vlog on my instagram while well, i've done bits and pieces i'll do the full vlog for youtube but yeah the the bits and pieces of me in london go check out my instagram and then yeah go support the brand guys you know we're elevating to the next level I love all of you. I will see you on the next video.